I just realized that my audio, I have this right here. Here's my microphone. It's supposed to give me some better audio quality. And uh, I didn't hit record, which means uh, no audio. So the audio isn't gonna sound very good in this video. I'm sorry. That's, yeah, all right, off to a good start. Check, check, talking. All right, welcome to another video. Um, so today is sort of a random one. This is the first uh, like talking head video I filmed on my new camera. I got an ADD recently. Now, you might not notice a quality difference because I've been borrowing an ADD usually to film these videos, so it'll probably look the same. Um, but maybe, maybe another time I'll show you a comparison with this camera and my old camera and you'll see, hopefully you'll see the quality difference. But anyway, today I'm making a video because while you're watching this, I am not here. I am actually traveling to a cottage and I'm going to make a video about that. But I wanted to make a video on sort of some travel items that I like to bring to help me with filming that I like to use that make my life easier. And so I wanted to talk about them because I don't have a video idea. You guys wanna see something cool? All right, so the first thing is actually two things. Stuff to clean my lenses and sensor. So you got this little squishy thing, shoots out air. And then this thing called like a lens pen. That's, that's the brand, it's, it's called a lens pen. Lens pen. Now this is to like blow dust off. I don't like the canned air. I have canned air for like, um, like computer keyboards and stuff like that, but I don't like it for cameras and lenses because it's just a little too powerful. And also, this never runs out. This will, you can shoot as much air as you want, the, the canned air will eventually just run out. So I prefer this. Plus it's just kind of fun. It's like a stress ball. So that's to blow like, you know, uh, bigger pieces of dust and stuff off the lens. Um, this lens pen is more uh, for little things. So you start with this end here and it's just this little um, sort of microfiber felt tip. Just kind of rub it on the lens and it gets rid of like fingerprints and stuff but it leaves behind little particles and so on the other side here you just gotta you just flip this up there's your little brush and then you can just dust off the lens with this. So yeah especially when you're going somewhere where there's like gonna be dust and things like that it's just it's handy to to have stuff to clean your equipment. And this is not really a travel thing, but just sort of anywhere where you're gonna be shooting outside, um, an ND filter is really handy. This is one's in this little case that it came with. I'm not sure if this was meant to be, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep this, or if it was just for like when I bought it, but it like, it's it's pretty solid, so it, you know, just a little foam insert. But yeah, I just keep a ND filter, it's a variable ND, so it, uh, you rotate it and it goes darker, like this. So that just goes right on the front of the lens like that. And then it goes darker if you turn it like that. And then turn it the other way and it goes bright again. Why would you need such a device, you may ask? Well, when you're shooting outside, it's very bright and you're supposed to keep your shutter, you're supposed to keep your shutter at the 180 degree rule, which means your shutter speed is double what your frame rate is. If you're shooting 24 frames per second, then your shutter speed should be at 1 50th of a second. The problem is sometimes it's too bright. If you wanna have a load up the field and then also have the shutter at 50, sometimes it's just too bright. And so, uh, yeah, ND filter. Now this one is kind of uh, a no-brainer, I guess. It's just, um, it's just a little SD case, SD card case, for a little place to keep your SD cards. That way you always know they're in one place. This thing is also waterproof, so that's good because you don't want to lose your stuff. Something else I also bring, I don't have a prop to show you, but an external hard drive so that I can back everything up to that while I'm shooting if I'm gonna be there for more than a day. So that way, I, you know, you're not just keeping everything on the SD cards and hoping that when you get back, you have all your footage on SD cards and then you, you know, like what if you lose an SD card or something like that? So I like to keep them all in one little place. The way I've organized it, I have like an SD card in each slot and at the back here, there's a little pouch here that's supposed to be for um, bigger cards, like CF cards, but I just have a uh, full written there. So once a card gets full, I take it out of the camera, I plop it in one of these guys so I don't forget. That's another thing, you wanna have a separate spot for your full cards. The last thing you wanna do is format a card that you haven't 
import it into your computer. Now this is something that I just got with my new camera. It's a battery grip. Uh, it looks like this. This one's for the 80D and the 70D. And uh, it pops out over here and you just get a nice little tray for two batteries. So it essentially doubles your camera's battery life. Um, I also like it because it just adds, uh, it just makes the camera a little bit bigger and easier to hold on to, at least for me. Some people might want the smaller camera, if that's the case, then probably don't bring this. That is sort of a downside about this, is that it's a little annoying to travel with because it's, it just adds more size to your camera. But for me it's worth it because it means I'm changing up batteries less. And then you also get the handy function of uh, if you're shooting vertical video, vertical vi no, don't shoot vertical video. If you're shooting vertical photos, then, uh, so the camera's normally like this, and you turn it like this. Instead of having to take a photo like this, you just got an extra grip right here to take your photo. So that's all I have lying around right now. This is sort of a random video. If you're watching this now, when it's just released, then in a few days, I will have a sort of vlog, more like cinematic type of video, not one of these like talking head videos. It'll be like a more cinematic video of uh, my camping trip. I, I say camping, we're, we're in a cottage. It's not really camping. But yeah, you'll see that, uh, You'll see that soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.